What's up guys? This is episode five of Roth Cards TV. First, I want to start by saying thank you to everybody who's been watching the channel, checking out the videos, supporting, liking, commenting, subscribing, following us on Instagram, um, and just showing love. I just want to say thank you so much for the support. We're going to continue to hit up shows, continue to put out good content, and continue to enjoy the hobby and have fun. Today we are in Hickory, North Carolina. Josh and them were in Clearwater. I realized the last show that Hickory had, I did so good at And I was like, you know, I need to come. So I drove last night, I got in the car from Florida and I just drove up um, and let's see what we can find today. I'm looking for Kobe, Mahomes. I got a bunch of cars that I'm gonna look to just walk around with. I'm not setting up today. I'm just gonna walk the room. And so let's see what we can find. Let's head in. So how's the show today? It's good, man. We made some good money, quick deals, you know, easy money. Bought a bunch of stuff in Miami, flipped it all. Nice, and you vlogging too? We vlogging, yep. we got the, we're doing the seller's perspective today. Okay, dope, dope. What's some good deals in here? Today, so everything's pretty competitive on pricing, man. Uh, very reasonable. All right. Uh, I got a bunch of Kobe inserts, refractors, bunch of bunch of players, they just don't fit in. Check this out, atomic refractor, undervalued still. So how'd you do in Miami? You did really good, honestly. Uh, you know, we, we got some good views, crazy. We hit a thousand subs. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. If you're watching this video, if you sub, thank you. Who's your biggest play? Damn, I think Kobe stuff's to the moon. I don't want to move the Kobe's. Right. But I think Kobe stuff, anything related to Kobe, like hopefully if a doc comes up or something soon, like I think Al Gasol, like anything, Shaq. anything, Shaq, anything yep. in general related to Kobe, they'll get like a slight bump. Obviously, yeah. Kobe and Shaq will be the biggest ones, and MJ and Braun, but, you know, those undervalued players like a Pau Gasol, a Robert Ory, a Derek Fisher, don't sleep. You know, they may get that little Horace Grant bump yeah. or that Rodman bump that we saw during the last dance. So. Heck yeah. All right, here's some cards that I'm going to use for some trade bait. Some LeBron tops. Nice Donovan Mitchell. Let's see if I can get a nice maybe Kobe auto for this nice LeBron. It's worth about 5000 Nice LeBron round ball rookie. Kobe insert. Giannis 10. Well, nice patch out of five. And some more Kyler Murray autos. See if I can maybe trade up for one nice Kyler Murray or, you know, uh, Josh Allen. So this is what I'm, I'm gonna walk around with this pile right here and let's see what we can do. Just did a quick scope of the room. I did pick up two nice autos. First pickers of the day. Number to 10 and to 15. Well, sometimes it's good to set up a shows. And I think sometimes it's good to walk shows, right? It's so easy to feel like I wanna be a vendor at every show. And you gotta attack shows from different angles. It's not always the best to be a vendor because when you're a vendor, you're not always walking around looking for deals and vice versa. When you're, when you're always set up, people do walk up to you with deals. So you're gonna get those exclusive deals sometimes. But it's good to sometimes to change it up. Like today, I'm, I'm not set up. I'm just gonna walk the room. I'm gonna find some deals. I'm gonna do some trades and I'm gonna see what we can do. Let's go. Locked and loaded. What about the Giannis? Uh, 3,500. This stuff's starting to creep up a little bit now. Yeah. After that 50 point game, people are like, okay, maybe they're, maybe they have a chance. Yeah, the field's opening up a lot. I mean, yeah. Yeah. One thing I will say, when you're walking around a show and somebody asks you how much for that card, never ever say, I don't know. Always give a number, always, whether it's the last comp, whether it's over the last comp, under the last comp, just give them a number. Cause when you say, I don't know, it kind of rubs off the impression you're not really trying to sell. And I guarantee you that the vendors is gonna kind of, okay, well, how, I mean, how can I buy it if I don't know? You know, that's what they're gonna say. Always know what value you're trying to get for your card. That is key in getting a, high, a good price. Sheesh. He said you can eat dinner on this. I agree. Okay, hold it next to your head for scale. For scale. Brady Flawless Auto. Well, that's the Atlanta one. That's the one you came back to me. Yeah, you gotta have 60, 70 cameras and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you value this Brady at? Uh, like, well. This is your juice here. It's like 41. And he's asking yeah. 42 yeah. on the curry. Well, he's not saying it's coming out of 40. 40. 
ones are 02, these ones are 01. Feel good about it, Justin? I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. He's getting the Steph Curry EGS 9 Refractor. I see it. Ah, it's a good, it's a good trade. It's a good trade. Yeah, heck yeah. Yo, what's up, bro? What's your name? Ryan. Ryan, man, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah. So, so how are you enjoying the show today? It's been good. A lot of stuff is moving. Word. Good. People are taking trades. Have you sold some stuff? Yeah, I sold. I've actually I haven't sold anything. I've done a lot of trades though. Trades. Getting up on slab. Just pick this up. Nice Kobe White. I think the color match is gonna be big. Heck yeah. And how long you been collecting for? Since about November. November? So, nice bro, keep it up. Yeah, thank Let's you. Let's get it. What's up guys? What's up? How's it going? Y'all enjoying yeah. the show? Oh yeah. So y'all saw the last video? Yeah. You liked it? It was cool? Yeah. Dope, man. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. So who's y'all's favorite player? Um, John Morant. Yeah, John, John Morant. Morant? What about you? Uh, John Morant? Yeah. Yeah, John Morant? <laughs> Dope, thank you guys. All right, the homie Justin got a bunch of crazy cards and I'm trying to make some trades with him. So let's see what he can do. All right, we're about to, we're about to make a deal on the Mahomes Orange. We're gonna flip a coin for it. Let's go, baby, I'll call it in the air, tails. Sir, <laughs> wheeling and dealing for the past 18 hours in this lobby, we finally came to a deal. We did make a trade, but I'm gonna cash him out on the Orange Mahomes. It's a good deal out of 199. Let's get it. Scripted. Oh, What's up, man? We out here at the Hickory hey, Show. How's it going, guys? Like how's it so been? To the hottest channel for cards you're going to see all day. Yeah, Hit that red button. Ball, man. You've like, been buying? Yeah, no, yeah. we've had some. Most people are trading right now, though. We've had okay. some good. We had some serious people. Yeah, Pretty right? good day? Yeah, yeah, you sold a Di LeBron Diary full set. Oh, the name. Sold a killer amount of So we had a full set of these for BGS 9.5. Oh, wow. Did so, you grade them all yourself? I bought them when I was a little kid. Little hey. kid days. Okay. You know, so kids stay in this stuff. <laughs> Heck bought yeah. It Ten years ago, four hundred bucks. It, just it. sold it today for what was it? Uh, Pawn Stars is gonna make a card shop. This cards are not going away. They're not going away. I agree. Man. So get in it. So in ten years, these cards might be worth fifty k each. Who knows? Possibly. Possibly. LeBron can win some more. Channel though, man. Kids, get into it. Check I'm them telling out. you, one day this one will be fifty k though for sure. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Yeah, and a team Stock sure. up on those boys. All right, we are now leaving the Hickory Show. Pretty good show. Bought some, sold some. Saw some cool people, met some cool people. Had a good time. And uh, I'm going to do a recap in the car on what I picked up. And uh, let's get it. So guys, we're leaving the Hickory Show right now. It was a pretty good show. Uh, we bought some. I sold some cards. I bought some cards. Uh, here's a few pickups. Got a nice Mahomes orange. Rookie auto of Steph Curry. And a nice immaculate number to 10 of Aaron Rodgers. Beautiful cards. But look, I did pick up some homes today and it goes to show when you set your intentions on what you want when you walk in a show, that card will come or that player will come around. You know, I walked in the show today thinking, okay, I want to get a nice Mahomes. And then a nice orange Mahomes showed up, number to 199. Set your intention and mindset on something, that card will come around. So it's very really important, like maybe make a list of five players or five cards you want before you go to a show. Set your intention on those cards you, that you want and those cards will show up. It's kind of like the same thing, like after you buy a new car or somebody you know buys a new car, you start to see that car on the road more often. It's not because there's more of those cars on the road, but your intention is now you see a new Honda Civic. So now you're gonna drive around and you see a bunch of Honda Civics. When you set your intention on looking for Mahomes cards, when you walk in a show, you're gonna automatically catch your eye on Mahomes cards. So set your intention when you go to a show on what cards you want and those cards will show up. You know, one thing I'm realizing about the whole PSA situation, the only cards I'm grading now is if there's a big jump from raw to PSA nine, right? So sometimes raw and PSA nine values are almost the same. Like there's like maybe 50 to a hundred dollar difference. You just can't grade that card. Like yes, you could get a 10 and it can be worth a lot more, but there's a risk that if you get a nine, you're gonna maybe lose money. And if it comes back at eight, you're definitely losing money, you know? So, I mean, there's a lot of cars out there that maybe raw is 500, but a PSA nine is 1800, 2000. Like those are the cars to grade. Those are the cards to easily send off, like get m multiples of those. Cause if you get nines, you're winning. If you get tens, you're winning big. It was a great show. I appreciate every, all the love. 
so many people walked up to me and was like, yo, bro, I love the YouTube, keep going. And it's just like, those type of comments at the shows seriously like pushed me and made me be like, yo, you're right. Cause I wasn't gonna record today, bro. Like I literally, I wasn't gonna record today. I was just gonna chill, kind of walk around, do my own thing. And as I'm chilling, do my own thing, literally three to four people walked up to me within the span of 10 minutes was like, yo, I love the new episode, bro, keep it up. And it just made me realize we gotta keep going. We gotta keep pushing. And it, it, in life, we want something, right? And then we get it. Or we get closer to the goal. And then we get complacent. And then we're like, oh, I now I can chill because I did it. And it's like, nah, bro, you gotta go even harder now. All right, I wanted to get YouTube content out and now I do, but now is not a time to chill. Now is the time to go even harder. I went to bed last night at, look at my eyes. I went to bed last night at 2.30, I woke up today at seven. We get four hours of sleep, but that's okay. Because it's about to grind. Anything you want in this life, you can have it. You just gotta grind for it. You gotta put in the work. And then when you start to get what you're grinding for, don't stop. Keep pushing, keep going. Keep striving for what you want because the bigger picture is out there. I don't wanna stop at episode four. I wanna go to episode five. I wanna go to episode 100, episode 500. I wanna get a Netflix documentary. There's no reason why we can't. They're making a Pawn Stars episode for sports cards. Why can't there be a Netflix documentary episode? Why can't there be a Netflix docu-series? Why can't there be anything? Stop setting limitations on your mind. In this world, there's so much going on. And it's so easy to think that the stuff we want to do, it's just not achievable because we're not big and we're not famous and we're not this and we're not that. But stop looking at what you're not and start realizing what you are. You are you. You are great. Anything you want, you can have it. So I'm putting it out there in the universe. I'm gonna manifest it. We get a Netflix documentary, baby. We get a Netflix show. This hobby is amazing, bro. And it, this hobby is what you make it. You can go to these shows. You can stay quiet, walk around, leave. And it seemed like a regular, uh, okay, it was a cool show. Or you can walk in there, say what's up to people, meet new people, communicate, talk to them, do some trades, laugh a little bit, have some fun. Because what's the point of doing this hobby if you're not having fun, bro? I enjoy this hobby. I love this hobby. I'm going to continue to put in the work, continue to grind, continue to hustle. Continue to get it every single day. And I hope you do too. This is episode five. Everybody who's watched this episode, I just want to say thank you. Make sure you please subscribe and comment below. We're going to keep going. We got Wisconsin, maybe. I heard Vegas. I heard Alabama. Then we got Dallas in two weeks. The Dallas show is going to be crazy. I'm going to create a lot of content that weekend. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep striving. We're going to keep going to be the best we can be. This is episode five, baby. Let's get it.